Hey, so I am hoping that this is the dad's edition and I guess it's the dad's edition and the kids because I hope you can make something special for mom this weekend. So I thought my kids and I would show you an easy craft that I found because usually at preschool, we make Mother's Day super special. We usually have a program with cute, sweet songs and I'm just missing doing that. So I thought, man, I need to give these dads a little bit of some help maybe so they can make something cute for the mamas. So. We're gonna get started. And we're gonna start with, um, you'll start with hands. You're gonna need construction paper. You'll need a white piece of construction paper. This is gonna be your background. And then let your kiddo pick out their favorite colors, okay? So first, you wanna kinda of use a peach color or pink color because this is gonna be the arm, actually. So you wanna have, um, if you have a skin color, um, that would be great. But on this one, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of their arm, too. So the first time around is actually gonna be, and I'm just tracing, I have Addison's hand or her fingers kinda of spread out but I also made sure that I traced part of her arm, okay? So it looks just like this, all right? Now, I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna go ahead, since Addison's right here, and this time I'm just gonna trace her hand. Now, if you just have one kiddo, you might wanna trace their hand a couple times so that you will get more flowers. Because what our handprint is actually gonna be, are gonna, they're gonna be the, um, the flower. We're gonna make a bouquet of flowers with our handprint. So I just kind of did it lightly because we're gonna cut these out in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and do Brady's next. So since I have more than one kiddo, go ahead and spread your fingers, yep. Um, yes, and Addison's gonna start cutting hers out. So Addison, you can start cutting your um, your purple fire out. Since I have more than one kiddo, my husband would need to do a flower for each kid. But if you just have one kiddo, remember you can do three or four handprints just of theirs. So now I've got Brady's. Brady, you can go ahead and start cutting your handprint out. Okay, and Caroline, <laughs> let's do your handprint. Same, same deal. And I'm just gonna trace around the fingers. And your kiddo may need, since they're a little bit smaller than mine, they may need a little bit of help cutting out their handprint. But it's always best if they try it themselves because then mom knows that they did it with their own precious hands. So, now what I'm gonna do, since they're working on their hand prints, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut out this one. And this is the one with the arm in and, and there, because what we're gonna do, this is we're gonna put it all together and it's gonna look like since Addison's, since this is Addison's arm, it's gonna look like Addison's handing me the bouquet of flowers. So if you want to cut out all the handprints, that's fine, because mom's gonna be able to tell that these are, that this is her kiddo's handprint anyway. So even if you wanna do the cutting, because it is a little tricky to get around these little fingers, and that is perfectly fine. And um, a little trick to the trade here. If you don't want to see the pencil lines, guess what? We'll turn it over and mom will never be able to see the pencil lines. So now, so I've got my, my hand that's gonna grab the, so now I'm gonna take my green piece of paper and on the short side, since I've got three flowers, I need three stems. So, and I'm just gonna make, 
for my stems. One, two. Okay. All right, Addison. All right, so, all right. So now Addison is done with hers, and I'm just gonna trim Addison's up just a little bit. Addison's my five-year-old or six-year-old. Sorry, Addison, you had a birthday. So I'm gonna trim hers up just a little bit. Okay. Bye. And then Caroline's got hers done. Brady, you're still working on yours? You almost done? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, and Caroline and Addison, why don't you go ahead and put your scraps over in the trash, okay? We always want to, another pro tip, Dad. If you're doing craft projects, make sure you clean up so that mom doesn't have to do the cleanup because, you know, her mom, we would love to not have to do the cleanup. So, all right. So now, I've got the back side of my card. So now, Caroline, you want to go and put some glue yes, I would love to. on your stem, and then you're going to pass it to Addison. So just put it on the strip. And dads, you also want to make sure you put the glue on the part that you're going to stick to the paper so you don't get glue just all over the paper. That's good. And it doesn't okay. have to be a ton Sorry. of glue. And we're going to put one of them in the middle. All right, go ahead and let Addison use the glue next. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job, Addison. And we'll put hers kind of like this mm -hmm. over to the side. And then while Brady's cutting out his hands a lot bigger, while he's cutting out his hand over there, I'll go ahead and glue the stem on. And I may need to move this one just a little bit over. All right, so, oops, I said I'm gonna put a little more glue on there. Okay. All right, so now I've got my stems on. Now, we're gonna put, I want it to look like the hand is handing mom the flowers. So I'm gonna trim off a little bit here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of glue on. Can I make a bracelet? No. I'm gonna glue this on where I want it. <laughs> it's gonna look like like the kids are handing mom the flowers. And then I'm just gonna trim off this excess right over here. Okay? All right. And then let's see. Make one more little adjustment on Addison's handprint there. All right, so since, remember I said you can kind of cover up your pencil marks, so I'm gonna put the glue on this side so I don't even see the pencil mark when I pick it up. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue on the fingers. And yep, you can put yours wherever you want it. Do you wanna put yours? We might want to put, let's see, Brady, are you almost done with yours? I'm good. Okay, let's put Brady's on first. So Brady put glue on yours. Put it on the side that has the pencil mark. Because since Brady's is the biggest hand, we're gonna put his in the middle, okay? Yeah, you can hold yours. All right, so Brady, let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll put glue. Do it real quick. Put glue right here. All right, and since Brady's hand is by far the biggest, we're gonna put it right down here. And it's okay if it sticks off the paper. All right, and now Addison, where do you wanna put yours? Which stem are you gonna put yours on? Oh, yeah, but we gotta make sure we get it. You wanna kind of have the stem part right there in the middle. All right, and Caroline, did you put glue on yours? No, I haven't, oh, uh, uh, no pencil on All right, that's good. Just like that, 
you've got a super cute card. Now, if I wanna make it a little more special, uh, down here, we can write, wait, wait, wait. I would take, and I would maybe write with love, and then I would let the kiddo write their name. So, Caroline, you can go first. And then Addison, write your name somewhere down here. Good job. Ooh, that's a good D. Oh, look at that kindergarten handwriting. Doing so good. All right, and then Addison, pass it off to Brady. And then Brady, you can write yours somewhere over here. And if you wanted to get super creative, Dad, you could always, you know, write on your handprint flowers, whatever you want to do, but this is just a cute homemade craft that, um, that you can give mom along with lots of extra hugs and kisses. And you know, us moms are super sentimental, so we love remembering how little or how big our kiddos' hands were. Cause this guy, he used to be in preschool, but he's not anymore. <laughs> Look how giant that hand is. So, you know, moms are sentimental that way. So I hope that you have um, fun making this. If you don't do this craft, just make sure that you are um, just showering mom with lots of extra love and attention this weekend. And kiddos, tell mom you love her and tell her how special she is. Miss Nicole, the kids and I made this for you for <laughs> Mother's Day. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Woo <laughs> All right. I made my own Mother's Day card. Awesome.